Hello, today we're gonna renovate the worst house in The Sims 4. Oh yes, we are. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, what is the worst house in The Sims 4, Nora? There are so many to choose from. Well, from my own opinion, I think that the worst house in The Sims 4 is the little starter house in Glimmerbrook. Yes, this house right here. That's called Brooks Bridge Burrow. And it is truly something else. I mean, look at, look at that. That is uh, <laughs> yeah, something else. So yes, that's the house we're gonna renovate today. So let's go, shall we? A freaking child. Oh, and by the way, I have now started a second channel. Yes, I have. And the channel is called Just Nora Gaming 2. Amazing name, isn't it? I really let my creative juices flowing with that one. But, <laughs> but on that channel, I'm going to be playing my Sims 4 gameplay challenges. You know, the Not So Berry challenge, the Legacy challenge, all that shebang. And I'm also going to be playing other games on that channel, like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and other games that fit into that sort of category. So if you want to see more of that, then you can uh, subscribe to that channel and then you will see stuff like that. I'm not gonna play Call of Duty or anything like that. That is not gonna happen. But you know, games like The Sims 4, but in other formats, really. So um, yeah, subscribe or not subscribe. That is the question, isn't it? Well, okay, let's uh, begin with the renovation project. Okay. Well, now for this challenge, I thought it'd be fun to do a little randomly generated budget. Mm -hmm. Because in real life, when you renovate a house, you often have some little extra money on the side to start renovating. You know, you're not using the price of your old furniture to decide uh, what you can and can't renovate. So I think this is more realistic in a way. <laughs> and just more fun, really. Now, the minimum of the budget is 15,586 simoleons, which is the value of the house right now that we're going to renovate. And the max value, I just put in 60,000 because I just felt like it, really. So without further ado, let's generate a number. One, two, three. Oh, 48,349 simoleons. I mean, that's a pretty good budget. I thought that I was going to get like 20,000. But anyways, that seems like a good budget. Um, I'm going to do that. Alrighty, so here is the wonderful house, the lady of the hour, and oh, it's um, it's truly a gem, isn't it? I mean, the roof, the house. <laughs> Mind you, this is from the spellcaster world, okay? And this is the house from magical world. Get this blocky house. Well, okay, let's look at the inside. And <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty sad looking house. Look at that living room. I mean, <laughs> I have no words, really. It's just a sad sight to behold. Now, I know that this is a starter house, okay? I know that. But, I mean, come on, this living room. Why? <laughs> the bathroom isn't that bad. But, again, it's hard to screw up a bathroom. That it is. So, I think for this renovation, I wanted to resemble the house as most as I can. Because, otherwise, it wouldn't be a renovation. It would just be... Something else. I can't find the word for that. <laughs> but it's gonna feel the same. It's gonna have the same, not the same vibes. It's not gonna have the same vibes. I'm, I'm no. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to resemble the house. Okay. I am. I'm just gonna make some few changes here and there. So I think first off, we're gonna remove that roof because um, that's disturbing. And then I think I'm gonna push the house far away back. So I have some more space in the front, you know, for some shenanigans. And then I'm gonna place my staircase over there. And my door went missing. Okay. Well, great. I'm gonna delete the staircase too. <laughs> So I think maybe, what if you push this one tile in and then I do a little boops? No, I'm not going to do that. Maybe that? No, I'm going to do this. Ah, oh, beautiful moment by Nora. And <laughs> maybe I can do something of that sort. Make some ambiance and then just take one tile off of that room. Just to create some little shapes, okay? I'm not changing it that much. I'm just creating some shapes. Mm -hmm. And then I think we can remove that hallway because that has no use for us at all. And you know what? This house is really big for a starter house. I mean, look how much space there is. I mean, what? Galore. You know what? This can be the bedroom. Then I can have the bathroom here. And then we can remove that whole part because we don't need that. We really don't need that. You know what? I can take this out one more like that. We can get a big bedroom. They deserve it. They deserve it. Oh, and for this build, I'm only going to use Space Game and the Realm of Magic pack because this is a Realm of Magic house. That's the only packs I'm going to use. Totally forgot to <laughs> tell you that. Ooh. I'm just going to put in some basic, yeah, well, paper and flooring just so I don't get disturbed by all the different wallpaper and flooring they had just to get a clean slate okay so as you can see all the rooms is where they were before okay I just changed them a little bit I just changed them a little bit and that was me plan all along it was and now I'm gonna put in all the essential furniture just to make sure that we have money for everything even though we have like 48,000 Nora is bad with budget so it can all go wrong very very soon so bedroom we need a bed and some nightstands how much are the one from uh, Realm of Magic 
150. Maybe we can go with these for now. These are 85. Then we need a dress, huh? We can get this one from Realm of Magic. That's 500. That's probably okay. And then we need a little desk, maybe. Just for the work. The magical, magical work. And then for the bathroom, we need a toilet and a sink. And maybe a bathtub. Those are always nice. There you go. And for the kitchen. Ooh, I can probably afford this fridge. Maybe. How much are the counters? 340. Mm, I'm not really a big fan of those counters. So maybe I'm gonna go for these. And they're cheaper too. And then we can have a little stove and another counter. Bop. And then we need some sort of dining table. Maybe right here. And we can go for... Oh, that's a big dining table. We can go for this one maybe. Or we can go for this one. I like that. That has that vibe. And for the chairs, we can go with these ones. Boom, 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 boom. Then for the living room, I want the fireplace. Oh, 2,500. Maybe we can afford that. But that's a maybe. And we need some couches. Those can be here. I don't know. And oh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. Maybe we can do something funky with that wall. What about this? That's funky. That works for me. That works for me. Oh, and then we also need some doors. Uh, of course, we need we need some doors. Okay, so how much money have we used? 19,000. Oh, yikes. I'm glad my budget wasn't 20,000 because uh, then I would have been in big, big trouble. I would. <laughs> right, so that's all the central furniture we need to live. So now we can start working on the outside. And uh, yikes. <laughs> so I think, first of all, I'm going to paint all the walls with this, maybe. Oh, no, that's very annoying that some of the corners have a thingy thang, but not all the corners. Ah, oh, I'm not going to deal with that. Not today. No, no, no. I'm just going to use this one instead. Easy breezy beautiful. And then I need to work on the roof because that's the scary part. Oh, yikes. Maybe I can go something like so. Yeah. And then just have one of these roofs here, maybe. Then I just need to maneuver them around a little bit. That's going to be fun. Oh, no. Ah, I mean, yeah, I think the roof is looking all right for now, at least. Okay, so how will it look with some different roof tiles? Oh, it looks a lot better. I think I can be okay with that. I think I do and I think I can. <laughs> right. And then to get some more contrast in, maybe I can make this part a little lighter or the whole part a little lighter. How will that look? Okay, maybe that could be something. I'm not really sure. Okay, let's see how it looks with windows and doors. Maybe everything will change. What about this door? Then we can put in these windows and then a funky little window up there in another color. Not that color, that one. Eh, hmm, maybe. Where else do we need windows? We need some windows here. So maybe these ones could be something. And ooh, what if we have a funky window right there? Some ambiance. I don't know. And then we can have some sort of window in that too. Maybe. Maybe. All right, back to the front side. What can we do to spice this up? Make it pop. What can we do? What can we do? I can put up a chimney. What about that? Yes. I like that. What more can I do? <gasps> I can put up some columns. That will spice it up. Real nice. Frames the whole house in. Yeah. And then I can put up these lovely little uh, flower wall pots. No, that's not what they're called. <laughs> I think that looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Mm. And then by the front door. Or I think I want a little patio. Just a teeny tiny one. Like so. Oh, and then I can put up this hanging flower pot thingy thing <laughs> right there. Ah. All right. Now I also want to fence this all in. And I want a little magical fence. That I do. So maybe I can go with some rounded uh, shenanigans. Oh, you know what? I can't remove the flooring. Because if I remove the flooring, the whole thing is going to disappear. Uh, so that's a problem. What if I put in some fake grass? No, that's going to look ridiculous. Oh, yeah. So what am I going to do then? What if I go into debug and try and find a rounded uh, fence uh, thingy thing. Okay, we have this one. Will that work if I do some magic? I just maneuver them around a little bit. <laughs> I've tried to make a little fenced in place. But as you can see, it's a little wiggly woogala. But remember, this is a magical place. So I feel like it fits in. Please say that it fits in. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and now, <laughs> for my next move, I am just going to put in some plants around the house. You know, that I am. And first of all, I'm going to put up a big tree there. Just to hide the fact that we don't have a window there. All right. And then, you know, I'm just going to put in some flowers. Some little bushes. Some more flowers. Frame this little garden in with me plants. Are we or what? And what a very lovely time Nora had, I must say. I even put in this uh, little cauldron thing. They might need it, you know, they might need it. <laughs> and now I was uh, thinking of putting up a little pathway here that goes from the gate and up to the little house. Because what other options do I have, really? All right, so here is my little pathway up to the house. Lovely. <laughs> very lovely. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I mean, I have a lot more to do, but this is the start. How much money have we used? 26829 where did I? I thought, what? I thought that I used debug plants and debug plants are free. 
<gasps> oh my gosh. These things thanks, cost 30 simoleons. I did not know that. And I've used so many of them. I'm not gonna remove them. I'm not gonna change them out for something else because that is a no, no, that's not happening. But um, maybe that will be okay, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm in big, big trouble here. <laughs> well, okay, before I do anything else to the outside, let's start furnishing the inside for real this time before I use all my money because uh, good golly gosh. And let's start with the living room because I feel like that's a good idea. First off, I'm gonna change the colors of these couches to a nice color. And that, that could be a nice color, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And then we need some nice old wallpaper. And what can that be? Oh, we could have that. What else do we have that's magical? And we have tiles. Oh, that could be for the bathroom. That's a very nice uh, wallpaper. Oh, and then we can pair that up with a nice aged flooring. And that's a bathroom. That is a bathroom. Okay, back to the living room. <laughs> what else do I want in here? I think I want some bookshelves. That could be fun for us. So maybe like these bookshelves. I'm not really sure if that looks weird or not, but here we are, people. Here we are. And then for the fireplace. And I'm thinking of framing it in with some little stony tiles. And that doesn't really look good, does it? Because the fireplace is so big. But if I do like that, that's also gonna look weird. What if I do like that? No, that's also gonna look weird. Ah, what am I gonna do? What if I put up a little brick wall? How will that look? I don't know. And what about some columns? Maybe columns will fix this? No, not really. What can I do? What can I do to make this better? Oh, I can put up these ones from the debug. And I can make a little cool pattern out of that, maybe? Mm. And you know what? I think that looks a lot better. I wish that the stone thingies were a different color, but here we are, you know. And I'm also just gonna put up this thing, because why not? <laughs> Alright, so what decorations can I have on that little fireplace? That's magical, that's that's nice. That's wonderful. I can have a little plant, some books, some of those magical balls, maybe. And you know what? That's what I did. I put up some plants, some magical balls, some books. Looking kind of cute. I even have a little lucky pig, you know? Fun, fun times. Oh, and then we need a little coffee table. What am I on about? How can I forget that? <laughs> How can I forget my little sweet, sweet coffee table, you know? What more do we need in the living room? What do people have in the living rooms? Who knows? Let's make a little entryway station here with a little table, maybe. And then I can put some little nicky knacks on there. Some Sweet, sweet nickety necks. And here are my sweet, sweet nickety necks. <laughs> Just some random hallway stuff. All right, so what can I have on this side? Maybe I can have a little one of these. And then maybe a shoe rack. Yeah, I can have this shoe rack. Not my favorite shoe rack, but uh, we have it. And I need some, ooh, I need some paintings. Maybe I can have one there. Well, he's gonna be hidden by the plants. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe, <laughs> what if that's the guy that they hate? And this is the woman that they love. Some lore for this house, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what more do we need now? Oh, we need some curtains. But I'm gonna deal with the curtains later because, oh yikes. I can maybe put up a little table here. And on that little table, we can have a little gramophone. Mm-hmm. And we can have a little flower. Oop. And then I just need to squeeze something in that corner to fill up the space, you know. We can have a little lamp and maybe a little plant. That kind of rhymed. It didn't. All right, now the curtains. I need to find some good curtains. And we don't really have that many options for curtains. We don't. So what could be good? Maybe, no. What about, no. What about these? I mean, they're not my favorite curtains, but they do fit the magical vibe, so maybe we should just go for that and forget about it. <laughs> That's our best option today, okay? Just forget about the curtains. Don't even look at them, okay? Don't. don't. Well, all right. How much money have we used? 33,790 simoleons. Yikes. Oh, and the plant is sticking through the wall. Well, wonderful. I'm gonna fix that in the end. I, I am. Let's move on to the kitchen. What can we do for the kitchen? Maybe change the wallpaper? Something you fancy. What about, what about this? Wow, could be a vibe. Now, can we afford some cabinets? That would be nice, you know? to afford some cabinets. And then maybe a little stove hood. Oh, and a sink. Of course, we need a sink. How could I forget? <laughs> okay, now for decorations for the kitchen. I need to find some good old decorations. And what can that be? I can put in a little towel and some soap. They can wash their beautiful hands. And what else can I get them? I can get them a utensil holder. And oh, I can get them this teapot. This antique teapot. Oh, I can also get them a little spice rack. Oh, <gasps> and this. Oh, yes. Wonderful, magical. Could have asked for more, really. And maybe some knives as well. You always need some knives, you know? You always need them. And then we need something in that corner. Maybe a little plant will spice up this place. And what else can we have? What else can we have? Nora, find it. Okay, I just put up uh, this uh, thingy thing. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's a scale. Duh. Oh, and also put up some little spices there from the bag. Wonderful. What else can I do for this place? I can put up some nicky knacks in that corner. Okay, I just put up that corner shelf thingy, some brooms, and some little pictures. Just to fill up the space. And I think it looks very cute, actually. I do. Oh, and then for this wall right here, we can put up some shelves. And then I can put up those little magical flask thingy thingies from the Realm of Magic debug. Where are thou? I can't each find them. But I'm gonna put them up when I find them. And here they are, my beautiful, beautiful flasks. 
Wow, I kind of like that. That's super cute. And now we just need to put up those gosh darn curtains. These might do. I don't want to deal with the curtains today. I, I really don't. I know. Okay, well, let's start working on the little bathroom. And first and foremost, we need a mirror in another color. This one. Oh, okay. Then we need some classic bathroom stuff. We need some soap. Oh, that doesn't go on there. Well, that's absurd. I'm going to put it up myself. Then we also need some toilet paper in a nice fitting color. Oh, okay. That's a problem. The color that matches everything else as a toilet paper on the wrong side and I'm not the oh that, that, that's a problem that doesn't match does it well it's gonna be like that don't look at it it has to be it just has to be a problem oh then I can put up a little hand towel where am I gonna put that up maybe here yeah fine by me and then I thought over the toilet we can have a little shelf and I can put some uh, fancy stuff on there maybe some candles and some little towels because they have little hand towels on there for some reason you know and just like so that could be cute oh we can also have a little robe on the door wow yeah on this side of the bathroom, what are we gonna have here? We can have a teeny tiny rug somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm gonna have that, but somewhere. And then we can have a little towel right there. And then a picture that never hurt anybody. And we can have the sweet, sweet bag light over there. And what about the curtains? Am I gonna go for this curtain again? Oh, I don't want to. Maybe just this curtain right there. I really don't know. I have to think about that. We're also kind of lacking for money, you know? How much money have we used? 41,689. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need to start working on the bedroom. <laughs> Oh, this, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna put up my sweet, sweet wallpaper. Bo -ba -da -ba -da -bum. And then we need to find a nice color in that bed. There are no nice colors in this bed. Well, I like this color, but the frame doesn't match everything else. And I'm not gonna turn this room gray. Okay, I'm not. And no, I'm not gonna put in this bed because one, it's expensive. 1,200. And two, it's just way too much for this place, okay? It's way too much. <laughs> if you lived in this tiny little house, you would not have this bed, okay? You No. So this bed it is. Boom, Shamala. And then for the carpet, I mean, we can just put up this one. I think that's fine. Uh, or is it? Uh, it's fine for the situation. And then for the nightstands. We need some nicky nice for the nightstands. And what can that be? Exciting content. I must say, nightstand nicky next. I mean, what more could you want out of life? But yeah, just put up the normal nightstand nicky next. And the skull. That's not, not normal. But uh, it is for this person. <laughs> okay, now for this desk area. What can I do for this desk area? I can maybe put up this book. Because I don't think we're going to afford it computer or we could but it's not gonna look good you know and we need this place to look good so that book it is and what more can i put up um i can put up some of these terms maybe what more can i put up oh my gosh no i think 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 what is good and cheap and fresh and fun yes yeah, so i just put up some flowers some candles a treasure map a light just the good old desk stuff <laughs> and then above the desk you maybe have some of this they might need that for the witchery craftery stuff <gasps> i can put up some cute little postcards oh that would be so cute i do feel like <gasps> and then above the desk we can have some shelves if i can put them up correctly i mean gosh darn it nora what are you doing <laughs> right i can put up these shelves and then i can put some books on there oh i gotta remove that table first oh my gosh get away from me and i'm just using this shelf to uh, get the right height for the books because these books normally do not go on these shelves so that's a little trick if you don't want to use tool mat and stuff and i think on that shelf i'm also just gonna put up some more magical stuff <laughs> Just some random nicky next, just to make it all fancy up in there, you know. And that's what she did. I put in the wand, a very cheap wand, because I gotta look out for my budget. And some clay statue, a little fossil. You know, you know, having a good time. And this is looking so cute, I love it. <laughs> and then for this dresser, we need some little nicky next for that too. So what could be good for that? Maybe another plant? Plants never hurt anybody in this place. They never did. And then we can have that little wicker basket, maybe. <gasps> and a picture frame of a pear. And what more do we need? I do not know. But we need something there, at least. We need something. Okay, so I just put up a little light. That, um, what is this? Familiar orb. Okay. And a little basket, plant, picture frame of a pet. <laughs> oh, that's looking very cozy. How much money have you used now? 46,200. And our budget was 48,349. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's not good. Uh, how much are these curtains? 200? How much are these? 110. Okay. Well, I'm going to put up these curtains then. And, uh, oh, no. Oh, shoot me good. I need this curtain for that window because what other curtains are we going to use, you know? I could use this curtain, but one of those curtains are 200. <laughs> and this big one is 200. So that's not going to happen. Oh my gosh, I'm panicking. I'm just going to use that curtain. Ah, wah, 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 wah. And mind you people, I'm not done with the outside yet. I'm not done. Oh, what have I done to myself? Maybe we can have a little mirror right there. Totally ignoring my budget, but um, but I like it. Look at that. That's magical. And then we need something for the wall. And what can that be? Oh, I need the big old picture. What about 
love this one. Yes. Then what about... Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? There's so much space on this wall and I have almost no money left. Uh, okay, maybe I can just do this for now. I know it looks weird and ridiculous, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have almost no money left. And pictures are so expensive. They are. I mean, the one that I really wanted to put up was this one. That cost 1,445 simoleons. And this cost 2,000? Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I should start working on the outside for a bit now just to get something going. And hopefully I can also find something that's free. Uh... <gasps> I've used 47,860 simoleons. Oh no. I really gotta find some stuff that is uh, free. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, I think first off, before I begin with anything, I'm gonna put some trees around the house just to hide the emptiness, okay? Because this is, um, this is bad. Oh no, do not look at the house. Oh, it's terrible. It's horrible. No, no, no. I hit my mic. No, I relax. Just put up them bushes and them trees and everything will be all right. All right, I put up some bushes and some trees just all along this place to try and hide up most of it. Most of the house. And how much money have I used? 48,170. Okay. Well, what can I do that's free? I can make a little pond. That's free, isn't it? I do think so. Maybe I can make a pond just for the ambiance. No, I can make a pond. Well, not like that, but oh, oh no. No, I stop, stop. <laughs> make a nice pond, please. Well, okay, here's the start of my pond. Looking nice and dirty and uh, magical, I don't know. <laughs> but I am gonna put in some rocks around it. And yes, debug rocks cost money, which is sad. But I have to do it to make this um, this pond work, you know? I really do. Okay, so here's my pond. As you can see, I'm not finished yet. And that's because I have used 48,333 and my budget was 48,349. So I am really scared that I don't have enough money for this. So let's see if the last rocks I'm gonna put in are gonna work, you know? Are they gonna work? Please say they are. Oh, and I ended up somewhere that I don't want to be. Where am I? Here am I. Okay. I'm not really sure. Maybe I need one more rock. Just right there. Do I have enough money for that? 48,349. That's my exact budget. Okay. Oh my gosh. This better freaking work. Oh my gosh. My game froze. <laughs> my game freaking froze. And I did not save. My pond. Well, it's not a video without Sims 4 crashing. That's what I always say. That's actually what I always say in every video, I feel like. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Oh my gosh. I'm so angry at myself, really, for not saving more. The last time that I saved was when I was done with the living room. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I'm gonna do this all over again. And I will see you guys when I'm done. I guess. See you on the flip side. And Nora is now back. She is. I have done everything all over again. I mean, luckily I had recorded it so I could just rewind the tape and do everything the same. So that was good. And I even did the little pond looking all nice and dandy. And guess what? I have used 48,349 simoleons and our budget was 48,349 simoleons. So it was right on the money. <laughs> I managed to do the unthinkable. But yeah, look at my little pond. Looking kind of cute, isn't it? Wow. I feel like I could have done so much more with this house for 48,000 simoleons. But the thing is that the realm of magic furniture is so expensive. They are really expensive. And it would have been really boring to just use base game furniture when this is supposed to be a magical house. So in the end, I couldn't have done anything else. <laughs> yes, I could, but I don't want to admit that to myself right now or else I'm going to cry, you know? <laughs> okay, I do believe it's now time for a little house tour. So let's go. Alrighty, welcome to my little house tour. Well, <laughs> here is the outside of the house. Over to thank it. I mean, I think I like the exterior. It's not my favorite exterior ever, but it's something at least. And then we have the front garden garden with all the beautiful plants you could ever want in here. Wow, wow, wow. And then right here, we have the little pond. Beautiful as ever. Oh me, oh my. You know what? I should have put up some plant uh, pots. Oh, wait, wait, I did. Uh, never mind. Yeah, let's step on inside. And no, I could not afford some ceiling tiles, okay? <laughs> I could not afford that. Or maybe I can. Wait, hold on. Can I scrounge up some money, actually? Okay, I found some plants that I could delete, so now I have money for the ceiling. <laughs> That's a weird sentence to say. <laughs> anyway, so here is the living room looking fine and dandy and right here we got the little entrance with my little entrance table wow those bookshelves really do look out of place but you know this place is looking all right got a nice little fireplace some naked in that got my couches my beautiful couches <gasps> there's a little soap thingy in there oh i gotta fix that too oh my gosh well anyways here is the kitchen now i really wish that i could afford another light because it's kind of dark in here and that plant is floating great but you know the kitchen here it is <laughs> 
Then we got the other side of the kitchen. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and the little dining area. Okay, that's so cute, actually. I like that. And a fish eye for you guys. Wow. What if I just did the whole tour in this fish eye mode? Oh my gosh, this is scary. <laughs> okay, well, let's go into the bedroom. Ooh, fish eye. My little dresser. And the other side of the bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is scary. But this area is looking so cute. I mean, look at that. Look at the little shelf with all the stuff on it. And little postcards as well. That is so cute. I do kind of like this room, to be honest. It's a cute little bedroom. I mean, except for that wall, that's not cute. But here we are. Okay, let's move on to the bathroom. And what a bathroom it is. Got my shelf of nicky nags And the other side of the bathroom. Wow. I really have nothing more to say about that. It's a bathroom. And I guess I could do like an overview of the house. There's the layout of the house. <laughs> I don't know what more I can do. Oh, I'm, I'm going around. Okay. No. Well, that was the house tour. The house tour is now done. Hello. This is Norman the Future. I forgot to mention the most important thing. And that is the before and after of the house. How could I forget? I don't know, but I did. So this is a quick little before and after of the frickety frackety house. And here is the layout of the house. You know, before, what was that? And after, kind of nice. I mean, the biggest difference is the, the garden, I must say. And everything else, actually. And here is also a little before and after of the front of the house. And wowee. I forgot how bad the before house was. I really did. There's such a difference. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And here is also a little before and after of the living room. I couldn't really fit the whole living room in one picture when I had to split it up, but you get the gist, you get the gist. Did I have any more pictures? No, I did not. Why didn't I make any more pictures? Well, anyways, that was a before and after. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Alright, that was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did. And uh, if you for some reason want to download this house, it is up on my gallery. And my gallery ID is just Nora Gaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe, because it really does help me out. So, um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.